Hello everyone, I'm Lucian and in this session I will be covering the integration between Oracle Linux and Spacewalk. With this integration you will benefit from, for example, automatic deployment of packages so you can update your systems accordingly through the help of the Spacewalk interface which also has this specific GUI that you can already see. I've already logged in on my Spacewalk server or there is also a CLI mode so you have both choices in uh, for setting up but also for using and managing your Spacewalk server. Besides the automatic patch deployment you have the choice to run uh, remote commands on your clients. It might be important you can run a specific script on one or multiple systems that you're managing from Spacewalk and uh, you can also visualize the output from it. And a third thing you could do with this integration is bare metal provisioning or automatic installation of Oracle Linux operating system through the help of Cobbler, which is a part of um, the Spacewalk server. And it acts as a DHCP, DNS mask and TFTP server. So uh, let's proceed uh, first of all and show you a bit the interface. I have one system that I already have added it as a client for my Spacewalk server. It's an Oracle Linux 6. And just by uh, logging on the systems tab, you can see the fact that updates are required for this system. There are 124 errata information and around 175 packages available for this particular system. Now, previously I've already set up channels and repositories and um, here is the list of the channels install media and I have one particular for Oracle Linux 6, one for Oracle Linux 5 and the channels um, have repositories in this case I have OL 6.7 base and patch and the Spacewalk client and also Oracle Linux 5 latest and Spacewalk 2.4 client. This is uh, my Spacewalk version 2.4 that I'm uh, showcasing you right now. So all these repositories are being automatically synchronized with my ULN repository, so Unbreakable Linux Network, the official Oracle repositories, and from this I also can uh, visualize the errata information and TV information regarding these packages. You can also see have uh, lots of packages already available on these local um, repositories. We can take a look on one of them for example and specific versions. It's just showing you the latest particular uh, package version available, but there are multiple other ones in uh, those repositories. We will select this particular system. Here you can see that from these packages there are critical and some non-critical packages. You will see the IP address from which the server was discovered as a client. We can see the kernel exact version. It's a new AKR3. It gets a specific uh, system ID. When it's being um, discovered you can see information like architecture and uh, the specific uh, um, channels that uh, the system has been subscribed to. An interesting uh, feature is the remote commands, so the possibility to send direct commands from the Spacewalk server from this management console to uh, your clients. In my case, I'll show you a very simplistic uh, df-h, so just checking the file systems. And you press schedule and automatically a job is being created. We will select this one and uh, we will see 
that it's already been finished. We will check pending mode, we will check history. In pending there is nothing, so it means that it has already uh, ran. Its status is successful. We will select this one and now we can visualize the output. So it shows me my root file system and my slash boot, so every information um, regarding my, my file system. Another thing we could do, we could check the packages, so these packages are available for this specific system. As you can see, some errata information, CV information about these, uh, these packages. Uh, if you select that one, it will redirect to Oracle uh, website and give you more detailed uh, information about these specific packages. We'll select a specific package, in this case it's an NTP version. You can also check out that it's an uh, EL6 underline 7.4 version and at the end we will uh, press the um, upgrade packages button. In the meanwhile, I have logged in and SSH this client that will receive the package and here you can check the version, so it's just EL6 and the available package is EL6 underline 7.4 so that will be the difference and I will press upgrade packages and press confirm And now a log has been created, a specific job with this uh, specific task. In completed systems, there is nothing in progress, there is nothing in failed. And this package, underline 7.4 NTP uh, version, has been updated. Now we'll recheck with uh, RPM minus QA. And here you can see the difference. Before it was 6p5 minus 5.el6. Now it's el6 underline 7.4. So uh, the NTP package has been successfully updated. Besides this, um, a third important feature of SpaceOck is uh, the fact that it can deliver bare metal provisioning, so it can automate Oracle Linux installation with the help of generating kickstart files, and I'll show you one that I have already created, and also it uses Cobbler, which acts as a DHCP server slash DNS mask server. And uh, let's see uh, this L6U7 kickstart that I already created. You can see the permissive mode for SA Linux, so I haven't disabled it. You can add additional scripts. It will be a base install, which means it's a minimal install of Oracle Linux. And here in the kickstart tab, you can visualize the generated kickstart file. You can also download the kickstart file. And there are informations like, for example, a network boot protocol, it's DHCP, time zone, uh, specific uh, informations about the file system, and volume group names. And more. And now I'll show you my environment. It's a virtual box environment. Here I have a running SpaceOck uh, virtual machine, which is my SpaceOck server. I have an OL6 virtual machine. This was the system that has received the NTP update. And OL Pixie virtual machine will act as uh, my client, who will be automatically installed through the help of uh, BMP option in SpaceOck. I will boot into LAN. I'll press L here to boot into network and automatically I can receive the interface from Cobbler which uh, gives me the possibility to either put local if I have an installed uh, operating system on my local disk or I can proceed with the SpaceOck BMP mode. I will do that.
and now you will see that uh, the pixel process will uh, continue. A network configuration will begin setting up ETH0 in this case. The install, the time G necessary will be uploaded onto the client, the formatted disk, and now it's checking the dependencies necessary on the repository. So we will use the repositories from Spacewalk. It will be a 6.7 update. You already saw the repositories that are available on my Spacewalk server. And now you can see that packages are being uh, updated and are being installed on my system. This will take a, a bit more time, so I will just pause this and uh, continue with um, with the summary. So um, basically, this concludes my session in regarding integration between Oracle Linux and Spacewalk server the possibility to not only automatically patch your systems, also sending remote commands from our Spacewalk server to your clients, and also, lastly, bare metal provisioning, so the fact that you can automate this, um, um, this installation of Oracle Linux systems. Thank you very much for your attention.